ready to go on a trip. Uh, don't worry, I can. I'm watching the road while I drive. Um, okay, I'm going on a trip, and I want to test out the most basic. I happen to know there's not going to be any tree supports where I'm going. Okay, so I'm testing out the random length antenna that's basically just 21 feet of wire and 21 feet of counterpoise hooked up to a splitter. That's it. It's going to come right out of the radio, 21 feet up, 21 feet to the ground. I'm going to test the most basic, easy setups of all and see if I can make, if anyone can even hear me. That's all I want to find out. Can anyone hear me? If so, then I will use this antenna in this situation. I'm going to be taking a trip to the city and I'm going to be on a beach and it's going to be like very urban. It's kind of an urban environment and, and I can't put up, I can't hook up to a tree or anything. I don't think there's any trees around there. That video will be coming. I want to thank everyone for all their comments. I'm getting tons and tons of comments and support. It's been really nice. It's really motivating to, to hear the good comments that are out there and to know that um, people are actually watching and caring. Okay, so as I was saying, this is a field test for an antenna that I'm bringing into what I call a hostile radio environment. I'm going to be taking a trip and there will not be any trees there. So I am using a bamboo fishing pole that's 17, it's 17 feet long. And all I want is, this, is the shortest random length wire that's not a whip, something better than a whip. That's the easiest deployment that I can think of right now on the KX2. Deploy, HF, contact, and then leave. That's all I want to do. And that's what this test is about. So I have my counterpoise wire there. All it is is a 21 foot wire with a little connector in, then I got a Dayton. Then I've got my other wire, which will be the radiator, and it will go up. Up the squid pole. I believe that's what they call it, a squid pole. Okay. By the way, these little plastic things are awesome. I got a, like a 20 of them on Amazon. They're great for a little wire winders. This tiny little connector to the top of my telescopic pole here. This is a 5 meter or roughly 20, uh, 17 feet squid pole. It's designed or chosen for its lightweightness. It's very light. Um, it's not very sturdy, but it's designed and I chose this for the most simple setup possible. Okay, for lack of a better way to do it, I just taped this to the end. This little string it came with is too short. So I quickly found out that it really bends a lot if you don't add yet another attachment a little bit further down. It's very narrow on that end. Uh, the biggest problem I have to solve is how to force this to stay up when there's nothing else around. I don't want to spend time doing guy wires. Here's the summary. I've got this, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, BNC splitter. So basically, I've got the radiating element going up to the, to the uh, telescopic fishing pole. Not very high. I have 21 feet of wire. I've got the counterpoise going on the ground that way. I would go that way in opposition to the antenna, but of course someone will walk by there. Okay, here's the danger. Someone or something could jerk this off and it could, it could very easily get jerked off, which is something you got to think about. Now, I purposefully don't have this antenna up very well. I did that on purpose because it's a test. The idea was to see if I could go, do it extremely simply without any supports around. The problem is I still haven't thought of a way to mount that anywhere. So all I have so far is just a tree. I just laid it in the tree and I'm going to have to fix that problem later with a stake or I'm going to need to find a pole like that one and wrap it around, but I wanted to use this table so I didn't use that pole over there or I didn't want to sit on the ground. So the idea is, can I make a contact on an antenna 
that's not very good. That's up really only about 16 feet. No one, I mean no one, could get laid wearing these. <laughs> Challenge accepted. That's the idea, and it's sloping. Um, it it kind of has to slope because it's a 21 foot wire, and I don't have a 21 foot support without going into a tree. So let's see if I can make a contact. That's the idea. to tune up really well on 40 meters which is you know one it's my favorite band really Colin CQ I heard one person I don't think the band conditions are that good I don't hear anybody out there I'm calling CQ and no one's answering Okay, somebody did hear me. KB8FE.
was really cool. I'm so happy I made a contact. Now I will say we were struggling. He was struggling. Um, he gave me a 559. He was fading out too. There was some fading but I cannot believe that this worked. I mean this is not, this is what I would call one of the worst antennas besides a little whip that you can have. That's what's cool about, um, that's what's cool about, what was I going to say? QRP or CW? Okay, so what he said was, this is Keith running about 35 watts. I, I was running 10 watts. Are you QRP? Uh, I, yeah, I said I was. 
Uh, he said static. Um, I have a hard time copying. Like, I have a hard time. That's why it looks so bad. Very harsh. Got your rig that you got back from Dayton, but static. He's in Ohio also. Akron. I think he's in Akron, Ohio. So I, I told him that I was in Ohio too. Um, wanted something. The most wanted you to know I heard you. So hope to work you under better conditions next time. 7-3. And then I, I, for the first time, I thought it'd be funny to do da 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 da, and then he did a da da, and then I did a da da. So I did that. Anyway, what makes me happy is I made a contact and I made this. Oh crud! I need to look at the time. Um, I'm gonna write all that down now. It was. First of all, I get your check mark. It's 1810, which is actually about. See, this is the thing is, I don't know whether to put the end of the conversation or the beginning, or where do you say the time? Is it the beginning or at the end? You know, what if it's a 20 minute conversation? Which one do you use? Okay, the 7.060, and it's 5. You know what? You should write everything down, even the date, because it's a Thursday, because sometimes you'll go home and you'll forget, like, you'll forget to log this on your logger program and like oh two weeks later you're not quite sure was that a Thursday or a Friday so this handwriting is horrible but I'm in a weird position here that's why it looks so bad um, anyway real happy that this setup um, is the easiest setup I've got I just gotta figure out how so let's look at the wire here this is just speaker wire by the way um, I gotta figure out how I can stake this up on its own. You know, I need a stake and tie it to something, or, or I could bind it to something like that. That would work. This might be flimsy, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty flimsy. I could use that over there, but it might look weird. Um, I can't believe this worked, though. I'm pretty happy about it. This is a bamboo fishing pole I got on Amazon. It's the 540. It's it was only like $20, roughly, $25, $24, something like that. Amazon, type in bamboo fishing pole, it says it's 5 meters. Um, I could do better than this, you know, I could, I could get this up even higher, but this is just, this is a dirt cheap test. And then of course, let me show you everything again. I got this at Dayton, it was $50, B-N-O, B-I-O-E-N-N-O, power, 13 volt, 3 amp hours, 36 watt hours. Um, I did the math, and I think this would last for like 10 hours, uh, depending, it, it depends on how much you transmit, of course, but it tells you the current drain on here, so you can do the math. If you do a display, point, there, it tells you how much current drain, so it's 0.13 amps. I put in 0 0.2, 0 0.2 into 3 amp hours, comes out to about but uh, so I mean I get it it says I got like 12 hours out of that so I mean that assumes that you're, you're not transmitting okay so my counterpoise goes over here both of these are 21 feet both of them everything tuned up just fine it was a little bit crazier than the other tune ups it was saying like 36 to 1 12 to 1 you know it was a little bit crazier but we, it did tune to 1 to 1 and I did make a contact with a crappy speaker wire so that means I can make a contact and I'm super happy about that that would be west it's actually kind of southwest so that's probably more like real west that means that's probably north and that means my antenna is probably pretty much pointing south that would be south and then I just contacted Ohio so I'm in Missouri if that's north that means Ohio is that way, pretty much perpendicular, perpendicular, maybe a little bit off a little bit to this antenna. So I, Ohio, it's kind of funny, I was in Ohio just a couple days ago and here I am contacting it with the radio I got there. Super happy that this worked. This means I have unlimited potential for getting this up exactly where I'm going. All right, hope you like this. Please like, share, subscribe. I hate to say that stuff. I hate to ask for that, but it actually does help. It helps the channel and it helps rank the uh, the videos and get them higher. So please do that. Thank you.
So you can see this little pole holds up pretty small. Oops. Put a little protection in here. It doesn't slam to itself. And it's only about two feet wide. So it goes in the bag. That's what's so cool about it. I still, you know, you may have seen me do videos in the trees. I still really, really like that. But like I said, this is designed for a time when I, I'm in the city or something and I don't, can't jump. I can't, there's no tree around. I'm on a beach or something. And this is a test, down and dirty test. So the entire antenna and counterpoise system, speaker wire, very cheap, very easy to make. I actually soldered that together. You don't have to do it. I squeezed it, crimped it with pliers, and then soldered it. Don't have to do that, but see how simple it is? This bag is actually unnecessarily big. I actually need to get a smaller bag so I don't have to lug this thing around. And by the way, I have learned, <laughs> let me tell you a funny story. I was at this park and I did a video where I was doing the SWR on the chameleon. And it, the chameleon has a 41 foot counterpoise. And guess what? I left it here. I totally forgot about it. Even though I did a search and I looked, I actually left it here for a couple days. And luckily it rained a lot so they didn't come and mow or it would have been destroyed. And I looked all over my house for the counterpoise. Um, and I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. I realized, you know, I don't, I, I did a search. I didn't leave that thing there. Sure enough, I come back a couple days later and there it is stretched out. No one touched it, had it, had a lawnmower gone over it though, it would have destroyed it. Anyway, the moral of the story is do a search. Take your glasses off. Every time you leave somewhere, um, think about the wires, think about everything that you left here. It's very easy to leave, leave something.